Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to make an apple catching game. Like uh, the apples are going to drop from the top, and we are going to catch those apples in our bowl. This is a kind of a game we are going to make in this activity. So before we start, let me sh uh, show you uh, the game. What it actually looks like. Here, have a look at this. See, there are two apples falling from the sky, and there is a bowl at the bottom. Now, when I click on the green flag, see the apples start falling from the sky like this, and you are having left and right arrow keys. So, what you can do? You are going to control. You are going to move your bowl left and right with the help of your arrow keys. And if you look at this, whenever have a look at look at it this again. If the apples are not falling in the bowl, then the lives are decreasing. And if the apple fall in the bowl, then the score increases. Understood? So this is the kind of a game we are going to make in our this video. All right. So let's start. The very first thing we are going to do is to select our sprite. Now you already seen that we need apples and we need bowl, right? So we we'll go to the sprite option and apple. You will see in the very first row only we are having apple. So we can click on this, and we will be having an apple visible on our screen. Similarly, we need a bowl also. So we'll click on this, and we click on this bowl option. We'll select this bowl sprite. Now, there is one more thing. As of now, it is having a white backdrop. So we want it to be more interesting, look more effective. So for that, what we are going to do, we are going to click on our choose a backdrop, and we'll select any backdrop. As of now, let's select this blue sky. So now it is, it looks good. All right. So we are having apple. Uh, let's name it as apple number one. And we are going to choose another apple. We want minimum two apples. We are going to name it apple number two, like apple one, apple two, and one bowl. So let's start writing the code for this project. If you remember, on the top we were having two variables, one with the name of score and one with the name of life. Let's first create those two variables also. If you'll go, you'll see the block. There is an option of variables. You can click on this, and on the very top, you will see there is an option of make a variable. Click on this, and you'll see, you'll get an option like this. So first, I'm going to write lives. Click on for all sprites. Okay. Now. We are going to make one more variable with the name of score. Again, for all sprites, click on OK. So, if you will see, these two are visible now here. Now, let's start writing the code for our very first apple. If you will see, notice that the app size of the apple and bowl is. A bit uh, like almost similar, but we want that the apple should be of less size. So what we can do, you'll be able to see here size hundred. We can reduce it. We can enter any size. Let's say fifty. Similarly for apple two also, we can reduce the size for fifty. Now let's write the code for the very first apple. Now, how how are we going to start the game? When we click on the green flag. 
so for that we'll use the event when green flag click now we want that the apple should start falling from the top like from the top of the screen but anywhere not just here not just from any fixed position from anywhere from this from the starting point here to the ending point here anywhere so for that what we are going to do first we are going to select the motion block here you will see go to random position like the apple will be going into any random position we will click on this bring it and insert it here but see if we click on the go to random position then the apple will go into any x and y direction but as of now we want that the y direction should be fixed like it should be falling from this height only wherever from either from here from here from here or from here or like here also so this the height of the apple falling from the top is fixed x like the horizontal direction this is called as the x direction it is fixed it is variable and y is fixed so that is why we are going to fix the value of y we can click on this set y2 as of now it is 165 only all right so now what will happen if we click on this see whenever i click on the green flag the apple goes into any random position on the top now we want that the apple should look like it is falling from the top so what we'll do first of all we are going to change the y you'll be able to see a block change y by 10 bring it and insert it here and we want that slowly and slowly the apple should come from the top to the bottom so like let's say by minus 5 step it should come down all right so like this then what else we want if suppose the apple reaches here or here what is the position like minus 160 if the apple reaches to this point that means it is not falling in the bowl it is falling on the ground and if it is falling on the ground then we want what again from the bottom it should again look like it is falling from the top it should go again to the top so what we'll do first we are going to ensure the condition if you will go to the control and you will see and see a block if we will click on this bring it here now you will be able to see there is an empty slot here that means what then so operator yes so we want that if this apple is average to this position like this one so what we'll do yes we'll go to this block this control and below that there is a operator we want to compare something like as if this value if this y value is more than this so we'll click on this okay so we'll click on this and bring it insert it here now why are we doing this see there is an empty and 50 instead of 50 what will we can write if it is um, actually uh, it is less than right so sorry sorry here we are going to bring it like this if it is less than minus 161 that means the apple is falling going beyond this brown line in that case we want that the apple should again start falling from the top 
and why we have le left it empty we are not going to leave it empty we are going to fix see which position it is y position so we'll go to the motion block we'll insert the y position here like this now whenever the apple is falling whenever the y position of apple becomes less than minus 161 that means apple is on the ground so in that case it will again go on the top and start falling from the top and what should happen if this value is less than 161 if the apple falls on the ground then we want that our life should decrease okay like life should decrease by any like let's say minus one so we'll click on the change lives by instead of one we'll write minus one and again after that we want that the apple should go on the top to any random position again so for that we'll again go to the motion block we'll select the go to random position and we need to set the y value y position again which we have set before 165 and see we want this to happen again and again so for this we are going to use the forever loop like this so if i click on to check our code you can click on the green flag and you'll see the apple is falling from the top here and the lives are decreasing by minus one okay so and what should happen if uh, the apple fall in the bowl then our score is going to increase so for that we need to write uh, another block again we'll select a event when green flag is clicked then what we want that our score should start from zero so we'll click on the variables and we are having an option set lives to zero we'll bring it here and on the arrow key we select the score now our score will select from zero and what do we want if our apple is falling in the bowl how are we going to know that apple is going is falling in the bowl we are going to use the sensing statement like if the apple touches this bowl all right so for that we are going to need a condition first if if the apple is touching the bowl so for that we are going to use if block we click on this bring it here then we we'll go to the sensing and we'll select what if it is touching instead of mouse pointer if the apple is touching the bowl click on this and insert it in this slot now what should happen if the apple touches the bowl our score should increase so to increase our score we'll go to the variable we'll select change lives by one and instead of life we are going to change the score all right after that again like once the apple touches the bowl it should again go back to the top so before that if you want that we need to insert some sound also like if the app when the apple touches the bowl it should make a sound so we'll click on the sound option you'll see we are having different sounds here okay so we can uh, just select any sound like here like this if it is touching the bowl it should make a sound and our score is going to increase now what is going to happen after that after that the apple is again going to uh, disappear from here and it will start falling from the top so uh, again we are going to repeat the same process go to random position as we have used here and we'll use set y to the value which we have used before 165 now see we want this process to be repeated again and again 
so for that we are going to use the forever loop here also like this so if you want to check this part this much part of the code we can click on the green flag and see as of now we are, we haven't written the code for the bone that is why our bone is fixed all right now the same code we are going to write for apple 2 also like it is going to follow the same code we'll click on this we'll call control plus c copy and we'll paste it here similarly the second block also like this now the next thing is our bool how are we going to uh, write the code for our bool so first we'll select our bool and now to start we are going to use the event when green flag click then we want that the bool should start from here only like, like as of now it is for lying on the ground so here the x value is let's say uh, yes like this uh, like any value like x is uh, 0 and y is minus 150 okay which it is here so we want that the moment we press on the green flag our bowl should come here and it should start so for that we need the motion statement we'll click on the go to block bring it here x0 and y can be anything like uh, minus 150 okay and what should happen see here we are going to move, uh, write the code to move our bowl so this was 157 okay so here we are going to write the bowl uh, write the code to move our bowl left or right with the help of left and right arrow keys on your keyboard so first if the left arrow keys press so for that we are going to use the conditional statement we'll go to the control block and we are having if we'll click on this bring it here now if if our uh, left arrow key is pressed so for that what we are going to do we are going to select we are going to find where is that option like as of now this wait yes in the sensing part you will see if key space pressed instead of space we can change this as like left arrow we'll bring it here and insert it in the if block then what we want if the left is pressed then the bowl should move left so we are going to how we are going to make it move left we, we are going to change the x value because here it is x this is the x value so we'll write on change x by like on moving left the value will decrease so we'll write minus 10 similarly if right arrow key is pressed then what we are going to do so we are, we can just click on this and duplicate like make a copy of it and instead of left arrow we can select right arrow and here like this like when it is moving towards right then the x value is increasing if it is moving towards left then the x value is decreasing okay and we want this process to happen forever like uh, every time so we are going to select the forever loop and we are going to insert it here now see when i press the left and right arrow key our bowl is moving and the crunch sound is also coming what else we can do here if you see first of all we haven't set the life count okay so we are going to put 
like whenever we press the green flag we are we can have minimum 10 lines let's say or you can put it according to you so we can go to the variables and the set lines we'll click on this and insert it here and let's say we want the lives as 10 in the very starting beginning of the game okay and what else if our lives um, changes uh, equals to zero then our game should stop so again the condition comes so we go to the f block use it here and we'll put operators like we are going to compare the values if it becomes like if it becomes zero if our life becomes zero then our game should stop so here we are going to insert the life uh, if you click on the variables you will see the life we will click on this bring it and insert it here then what should happen everything should stop so we'll go to the uh, this one yes we'll go to the control block you'll see an option stop all we'll use it here and there is one thing missing we haven't selected any event so what we are going to do we are going to select when green flag is clicked all right now see If our apple is touching the ground, life is decreasing. If our apple is touching the bowl, our score is increasing. Hence, we have completed our game like this. So, use this code, try this code in your computers also, make this project, and you can make similar projects from the same concept also. Okay, thank you.